subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! What's happening guys? It's Friday. Final session of the week. We are doing events, so we've got log press first up. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it is what it is. Tom's full of energy today, as you can see. Um, so we're going to get in. We've got a couple of big log sessions here to Schnau. you got to watch the video to find out to see the greatest log session in the whole world. Good. Tom's going to go for either a heavy single or double, depending how things are moving. And Luke's going to do the biggest set of log press that's ever been done. What's up with you, Tom? Just did some butt cracking. Oh, no one's... Well, I've had my hand there for about five minutes without picking up. That's what it is now, is it? What's your biggest tip for anyone wanting to do the wall? Be a stoltman, it's the first one. <laughs> um, other than that, just stay aggressive throughout the movement and prioritise form over weight at the start. Don't rush the numbers, just make sure, you know, really solid, good technique and then build some. Come on, man. It just wasn't it today, it's one of those things. I don't know what I was doing, it was weird when I popped up, the log was kind of bumping and then my hand position changed, which was strange. I've never done that before, so why would I do that now? Hmm, interesting. So, it was just still 200 for a double, which isn't bad. What was the original plan? 200 not for a double. Uh, no, I wanted, we were kind of aiming for, for five, but, I think on a good day it is there, I think I can do 200 for 5, but I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I think the, the strength will still be there, hopefully at a 215, 220 before Worlds. And then it'll be all good. All will be good in the world again. <coughs> would have been enough to win the Max Log at Brian Shaw's competition and pretty much all those guys at Brian's is going to be in the world so put it in that that's okay um, there'll be more there in the day as well it's just I think we're a bit kind of fatigued this this week's just been a bit busy it's one of those weeks but hitting 210 on a busy week um, 
is okay, I guess. Would have rather the 200 for five, but beggars can't be choosers, can they? So next week is a different week. Last big log session before Worlds, um, and we'll see where that goes. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Just lost balance. It, it went up quite nicely. For some reason, my feet wanted to dance, so it wasn't the best. <laughs> but the strength is there. That's the main thing. I, I know what's there. I know I'm good for 250 and 220 at the moment. So I am bothered, obviously, because I should be hitting those weights. But one of those days. So we've got the rest of the session. We're going to do some front holds, then move up to the warehouse and um, see how that goes. I touched on it earlier on. We've had a busy week, so. That kind of replicates our world's strongest man is. Um, when we're out in worlds, it's not like we're just doing a max log or we're just doing stones. You know, it's a, a combination of a week of a competition. So we have to be coming in training, fatigued, a little bit tired, not fully energized. So we need to kind of replicate that. And I think today is one of those days where we're not maybe 100% fully switched on, which again is okay to be like that. If we have these days and learn from it and then come World's Strongest Man, I think that just shows that there's maybe a couple of things I could have done different this week to make me ready for these big days. Um, so it's a learning curve. Ooh. Mate, that was fucking shite, mate. Second time ever doing a, well, the second time this year doing a 200k loggers. So, you know, that's quite hard. I know I've been doing rep stuff, but. I think, you know, like two tens my max, so I think I need to feel maybe like a bit heavier weight on my chest because I'm really bad at dipping when it gets heavy and it dipped. I mean, there was no way in planet Earth 210 was going to go today, so 200 is alright, though. But again, as well, you know, having, I mean, I was out of routine a wee bit yesterday, you know, with like people up and stuff, and I mean, usually, usually I just sleep and chill and eat, but yeah, it's again, that can do it. CNS might have been a bit effect as well, but it is what it is really, you know, I'm not too bothered to be honest. Tinder. Thirsty weekend and uh, I just want to have some fun now. <laughs> My mind's off training this weekend, but you know, I'm going to be honest, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's a 200k log, you know, it's not like it's the end of the world. I hit that at the end of a week. Uh, uh, and like I said, 210 is my best ever. I've only ever hit 210 when I've hit like heavier doubles and singles. So it, it'll come again, you know, but what's there to moan about? Right guys, we're going on to front hold now, 25 kilograms for max time. The Giants hammers 30, but obviously it's a pickaxe, but also whether they're going to try and get close to... One, two, three, four. 15. Nice, man. 30. Come on. Aggressive look, come on. 45, come on. <laughs> duck, duck, duck. Oh. Oh. Good effort, man. Ten. Oh. Oh. Good effort. Just... Stop saying it. So I've still got a train. So just let's just try and not say it. You've got to dig in now. Be aggressive. Come on, Lou. Come on. Such a stupid event and I think that it doesn't even tax you that much but it does when you do it it's... I used to think this was like a race 
<laughs> off front hall, we get a little rest. It just burns, man. Hey guys, we are, sorry, I am in the warehouse. Unfortunately, Tom got lost on the way to the warehouse. He's only been here about a hundred times. Um, we'll wait another five minutes, and if he doesn't show up, then I'll just crack on and finish the session by myself and do 200 kilo stone for 20 reps. So who's the real king of the stones now, Tommy? Prime sandbag keg sandbag. What I want is the distance that he's carrying each implement as the implement gets harder to move to get a bit shorter. Fitness and conditioning are through the roof, but I just want to make sure, you know, like that quick transition. Loading medleys are win on lost when you've not got weight in your hands normally. Yeah, we'll just get him a bit more comp specific and really focus on exactly what we're going to do on the day. Living on the edge, Jordan. What do you think of that, Dan? Lovely, man. It's the best his medley's ever looked. It's quick, and like we said before, like medleys are won when you're not carrying anything most of the time, and yeah, sprinted back really good, no messing about, no mistakes. So yeah, pretty much a perfect, perfect run. And this transition's a lot better than last time, would you say? Yeah, loads better. That conditioning, uh, we put a lot of work into it, and then getting used to applying it to events took a couple of weeks, but. You know, Luke looked, yeah, really good, it's spot on. How did that feel, bro? Amazing. <laughs> that was a lot better this week. Just felt lighter on my feet, which was nice. That's something positive. Maybe the conditioning things that we've been doing are just starting to come into play now, so that's good. And the thing is, in Worlds, we just have to do this once, so be faster at once job done on to the next event so I think I was maybe guilty before of not treating it as a one event so right, we've got two or three sets to do save some um, for the next set what is that one it was like right we're doing it one time so just go for it you know just a, a one time thing which was I think a better mindset to be in kind of talking about replicating worlds um, as much as we can. And yeah, it was good. So it was good, Simon. Sorry to answer your question. It was good. We know Luke's good at yoke. My priority for him is really nailing the transitions and being light on his feet. So loading went so well, I uh, thought I'd let him let him off with yoke this week. So time for Fingal's finger. That'd be Simon. 24, 25. <laughs> These gloves are cutters. One of the people, um, made a comment on YouTube, I forget the guy or the girl that made the comment saying why don't you use these gloves so we ordered them up this is the first time trying them yeah we'll just see how it goes so I'm just thinking again I don't know if we touched in the last video but the the temperature obviously in Sacramento is going to be pretty pretty hot and being from Scotland I sweat a lot so I thought Maybe it might be an idea just to prepare for that. 
Initial thoughts on the gloves? Hmm. I don't know. I'll do another rep and see. Loads better loads. <coughs> pushing motion, that kind of, not pushing, but the, the swing. Yeah. That was better. That was really good. Three, two, one, go. Choppy loop. Lovely. Come on. That wasn't very nice. You feel alright? Yeah, it feels fine. It's just, just a bit side to sidey. Yeah, a little bit. I don't dislike them. Do you like them? I don't not like them. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. Feels good. I'm not slipping, so that's something. And I'm still sweating, so I think it's a good shout to, to wear them in this. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Come on, Luke. Just that last bit, I just keep being an idiot. It, I think it feels close, so you think. Yeah, that's it done, but I'm not. Yeah. Right it's not done until it's yeah. laid down on the other side. Brilliant. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Keep driving. Keep driving! That was a lot better. Yeah. So that was a 20th rep on fingers. Now we're going to do another 20 with no gloves on. That was fingers done. 100 reps, no problem. Um, probably won that event at Worlds. Anyway, we're now on to stones. I thought Tom might appear. No. He's still got lost. If anyone's seen Tom, please comment below. He's six foot eight, so curly hair, weighing about 180 kilos, goes by the name the Albatross. So if you've seen him, let us know. Hope you're okay, Tom. Love you. Imagine asking Tom to do this for me out in Worlds. Hmm. Jordan, you may have to be the man for the job, I think. I think maybe that was just a wee confidence because I was last two weeks ago when we were doing 160, it just wasn't sticking. Like it felt okay, but just just that tacky, that tacky felt okay actually. How was the week? Uh, it was okay. Just took a little bit of uh, just working it out. Tom um, last week, sorry, Tom got some uh, cold wet, cold weather tacky when he did his 200. Um, uh, one motions and he said it was really good but I think my body temperature just heats up a little bit faster than Tom so the cold weather tacky was good for the first kind of three sets I did uh, and then with the, the the heat I produce out my body it just started to get really the, the stickiness wasn't there and then speaking to Dan as well you know we tried the sleeves obviously the sleeves are really good just with how much I kind of sweat they just have it. The tape has a tendency to slip off, and um, as Dad, Dan said, it's like one more thing to go wrong in the day. So, pff, rather than I know how to stay cold, I'm happy. I've done that before. I've competed 
it's just using that hot weather tacky, letting it heat up enough, applying it to me when I'm cold, so I don't have a chance to heat up stupidly, because when we're doing stones and worlds, it's a case of, you get a five minute warning, right, you're up, put your tacky on, go out and do stones, so we're, as here, we're kind of doing loading, fingers finger, we're doing log, front hold, and we're doing it in quite quick succession, so um, not really having a chance to cool down, so I'm not worried, to be honest, about stones. It's weird, because I think I struggle switching on for stones, where Tom, Tom really can switch on, that's his event, and then Tom says he struggles to switch on for log press and other events, so that's something that I probably need to work at a little bit. Finished it off, it was a bit of a, a kind of a hard session, but we got it done. Loading was good, fingers kind of getting getting used to the technique in there. Um, stones was was so so. Log press was okay. So that was today's session. Again, if anyone's seen Tom, let us know. Um, Tom still had a good session. He still smashed the 200 log. It was a bit of a busy week, as you probably saw on Monday. There was a lot of things going on for Tom. So if Tom carried on training, it might have been more damaging to his kind of mental state. So he's just gone home. He's having a wee bit of rest and relaxation. He's going to chill this weekend. It's our pretty much final week next week. Yeah. Yeah. Five more big sessions until World Strongest Man. I'm sure you will see Tom and myself at our best next week. So, thank you very much to our amazing coach Dan for coming up. Um, it's been really good actually having Dan. Um, see, it's not just about the highs though, that's, that's what a lot of people kind of think we only show, we only show the highs, the only, only the good training sessions, but I think this week has kind of shown you, that, you know, we're very honest, we're very open. We show you what's going on all the time, so hopefully you enjoy it. Um, and it was good for Dan to see that. I think he needs a few weeks off just to get his, his mind right again after this week. But um, it was good. Um, obviously the Mulligan's up filming again. Always appreciated. <laughs> and I am looking forward after World's Strongest Man to my date night with Will watching all of the Lord of the Rings. Anyone want to join? Comment below. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Tom's not here, but he would say, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please keep ringing that little bell. Ring, 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 ring.